Hey guys, welcome to today's video. So today we have the Victorian Romantic. This is the fourth and final edition with the cold foil stamping. I'm so excited. I got this in the mail yesterday and I cannot wait to get into it. So let's not waste any more time and jump right into this bundle. All right, see you in a second, guys. All right, guys, let's get right into this. So we have the Victorian Romantic. I did suck it up and buy the bigger guidebook because I did want to get all the extra information on the cards since I've never used this deck before. There's some spreads. There's a colored photo for each card, which I really appreciate as someone that's never used this deck before. I'm looking forward to having all the resources to understand what's on each card. So that is the guidebook. It's so well done and the paper's really nice. It's a really, really nice guidebook. I highly recommend it, at least so far of what I've went through. So what we're really here for, the Victorian Romantic. Now, normally I put all my decks in bags that I make myself or I get Peggy bags, but this one came in such a pretty, beautiful, well done box that I think honestly I'm just going to put it on my altar in my living room and leave it in the box because it's just so beautiful. So this is the inside of the box. I'm even debating, let me know down below what you think of maybe putting a little bit of something on the inside and the bottom and the top. I don't know. I haven't decided. I don't know if there'd even be enough room. So let me know what you guys think, but it's a beautifully done box, like, oh, it's so well done. So there's that. All right, so let's get to why we're here, which is the deck. Now, I have no other Baba Studio decks. This is my very, very first experience with one of their decks. So the, one of the things that people told me or I've seen on other people's videos is that the card stock is thin, but really good but surprisingly thin. So let's take a look. It is on the thinner side, but it's not too thin. Like it does seem really nice and sturdy. It does have a nice snapback. Um, it almost feels a little bit linen-y, a little bit the way that the foil is pressed on the back. I don't know if you guys can see that, but it's really, really pretty. Um, so here's one of the front cards really pretty you can see all the foil especially in these like two girl faces in the bottom that's so pretty now with my deck also came ooh, don't want to do that um this extra card which is also the cool foil stamping and it looks like it's almost like the green man but um it's a feminine figure and i love the little ginger cat i love this card it's so pretty so i have it here on my stand don't mind my house coat <laughs> but yeah super nice so like i said this will be my very first experience with this deck or any baba studio deck but already i'm like super excited for the um what is it the the gothic one i really want to get that one already and i haven't even flipped through this one so that's a good sign right um, this is the little paper book that comes with it. Um, and it does give a little bit. So I guess it would be good on the go, I guess. If you took this on the go, I wouldn't. Too pretty. I wouldn't want to get it damaged. All right. So let's take a look. I do know from watching a few other people's that um, there is a few that you get to pick a card over another card. So let's do that while we're doing this together. All right. Here we go. Let's get right into this. We have the fool. Now you can, yeah, I think you guys can see all that foiling. It's so pretty. So we have the fool. The magician. Now I don't think I would ever edge this because it's so pretty and I would not want to ruin the fronts of them. But I almost feel like it's not edged. That's the only downside of this deck is it's not edged. So you can see a faint blue from the back of the card. So I would almost edge this in a light blue if I were to edge it. 
But I don't know. Let me know down below. Would you edge this deck or would you just leave it? But anyways, getting back to the cards. The Fool. The Magician. Oh, I love that. And look at the skeleton in the back. It's so good. The High Priestess. So there is nudity clearly in this deck. I never really paid attention before, but I love the smoke coming off her cauldron. That's really cool. And then we have the Empress. Very nice Empress card. I love this purple. Clearly I love purple, so that's really cool. And then it looks like we have two Emperor cards. So taking a look at the Emperor cards, this definitely feels more Emperor to me. So I think I'm going to keep, because I feel like this feels almost Hierophant to me. So we're going to keep this one, I think, in the deck, yeah. Yeah, because this is like the Hierophant, but this almost feels like it's a little bit Hierophant to me. The Lovers. Oh, there's two Lovers cards. Okay, so I definitely prefer this Lovers card over this one, that's for sure. This one's clearly a Lovers card to me. I don't know what this feels like to me, but it doesn't quite... It almost feels two of cups more than lovers. But this one feels like a lover's card to me. I definitely like the art in that one better. Chariot. Oh, I love... Oh, and look at... There's almost like little diamonds on her dress. So cute. I love that. The strength card. Oh, I love this strength card. Like, there's, there's multiple lions and lionesses. That's really cool. I don't think I noticed that in any other walkthrough. Must have not paid that much attention. The hermit. It's very hermity to me. Oh, he almost has, like, wings. That's cool. The wheel of fortune. Which totally makes sense out down on your luck, doing what you can, and he's got all the wealth. Justice. Wow, look at that red hair. Isn't that gorgeous? And that hanged man is definitely something different. Different perspective, that's for sure. Oh, I'm getting all the shine from the foil. It's so good. Like, look at the red and the blue drapes down here. It's so good. And even, like, the foil up on the death character up here. Temperance. Oh, wow. Look at her dress and her orange hair. Okay. We have two devil cards. This one feels more traditional devil. Like it looks very almost like Adam and Eve a little bit. But it's like the monster with Eve. Where this is more like I feel more modern day. Look at all the things like come and get it. And I feel like most of the time the devil feels very masculine a lot of times. So I'm actually liking this female devil. Plus she's in a purple dress. So there's that. Let's pick her. Oh, this is a good tower card. I know I'm going slower than normal, but man, I want you guys to get this foiling. It's so good. Oh, look at that moon card. Oh, that's so pretty. I definitely feel like you need to know the meanings of the cards to get the references because a lot of the regular RWS stuff is not in there. Like, there's no dogs in this moon card. And the moon is just, like, on her, the thing she's wearing on her head. So, I'm definitely noticing that as a difference because I think these were 
um, if I'm not mistaken, these were art um, paintings that were picked out for this deck. So, and then maybe altered a little bit. So, I definitely feel like this is not the most beginner-friendly deck. Unless you have the book and you're ready to look up every card meeting. That's a good judgment card. But I definitely feel like some of them you need to look up the meaning. The world. Oh, that's a different perspective. I'd like to look up why they choose that one. All right. Now we're into our minor arcana. Ace of Wands. Wow, that's a really good Ace of Wands card. I really like. Oh, wow. Look at that. So pretty. Oh, yeah. Looking out the Two of Wands. So that's good. And then actually starting the journey is a Three of Wands. Four of Wands celebration. Yeah, that works. Even though I feel like one, two, three. No, I guess that's technically the fourth wand if you want it to be. But and five of wands, getting into mischief. Six of wands, coming back triumphant. Seven of wands, having to defend yourself. Eight of wands, going for it. Nine of wands, kind of feeling defeated. I hope I'm getting all these meanings right. This is me trying to remember them all as I'm still learning. Like I said, I'm a continual noob right now. Ten of wands, all the hardship. Finding it hard to balance everything. Do all your duties all at once. That's a really good, you know, she's carrying her baby but also carrying the load of wood. Oh my god, look at this page of wands. Isn't she marvelous? Or he's marvelous? Can't tell, but wow, they're marvelous. The Knight of Wands. The Queen of Wands. I thought there was two queens in this deck. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm thinking of a different queen. I thought I said, thought someone showed two queens. But maybe it's a different queen. King of Wands. All right, now we're into our cups. Wow, that's super pretty. Two of Cups. Three of Cups. Oh, that's a great Three of Cups. Four of Cups. Five of Cups. The Six. Sevens. So this is, again, it's a painting, so it can't be exactly the same, but you've got all your little treasures trying to figure it out. And then going after one. So picking the one thing out of the many is what I get from that card. Nine. Like Lisa always says, a dude with his wine. <laughs> ten of cups. That's a really good ten of cups. The whole family around the baby. Look at all the shimmer in their outfits. I love the shimmer in this deck. It's so good. Page. Oh, wow. Look at the Knight of Cups. That definitely feels like a Knight of Cups. The Queen of Cups. Oh, I love all the colors in her dress and all that fabric around her. That's so good. King. And now we're into our sword suit. Ace of Swords. I love that sword with the ribbon around it. That's really pretty. The two. Mm, the three. That's really good. And it almost looks like that's a heart. So that's a really good three of swords. 
four, five, that makes sense. The six, getting away. Seven, getting away with. <laughs> Eight, because she's bound, that makes sense. Nine, trying to sneak away and get away from what's rough, probably. And ten, feeling overwhelmed. And if you can notice, the guy's there, and it's almost like a female wave is coming to take him away. Oh, wow, look at this page. She's beautiful. And the knight. The queen. The king. Looks very like, ugh, I'm doing this again. <laughs> That's just my interpretation, but, you know. All right, now we're at our pentacles. Oh, she is so sweet. I love her. She is so sweet. And the two. I'm hoping you guys are getting all the shimmer. This is such a shimmery, beautiful deck. Like, oh, it's going to be a beauty to play with. Our four. Five definitely makes sense. Six. Seven. Eight. I love all these blue. And even that white shimmers really nicely. Nine. Ten. Look at all that abundance. Page the night, queen, and king. I really thought there was one card that had two queens in it, but maybe I was wrong, or maybe my deck didn't have that. I almost want to go back and double check. King, Queen, because I'm sure I've seen that in somebody else's walkthrough. King, Queen, Knight, <laughs> one more, King, Queen. So maybe not in my deck. I'm confused. I thought somebody had another queen in their deck. Maybe I'm wrong. Either way. So these were the extra cards that I pulled out. Um, And this deck is just beautiful. So let me know down below what you think. I think the backs are really, really nice. I did see the third or the second edition somebody else had where had like pink or red backs. Those are pretty too. Um, I think it was Boho Tarot. But I also do really enjoy these. Um, so that is the walkthrough of the Victorian Romantic fourth and final edition. I hope you guys enjoyed that. And I'll see you around Tarot Tube, Instagram, Facebook group, and now Twitter. So until next time, bye guys. Don't forget to like hit that subscribe button and I'll see you next time.